I'm sewing a fine butt seam in the lining, up the heel of the lining of a pair of shoes I'm making for a gentleman. This is kangaroo hide, it's about a millimetre thick. The thread I'm using is a two-ply hand-rolled linen thread, so we get that lovely long fine taper on the on each end. And uh, so they go through the holes like that, and then a lot more bulk in the finished part. In the 1400s or thereabouts, they realized that if they cut the edges of the leather at an angle, so this is an, over, uh, an overcut and this is an undercut, and as you tighten up the stitching, it uh, makes they slide over each other and it makes for a much tighter seam. Black, these black bits on the ends of the thread are pig's bristles, very fine ones, finer than ones I normally use for the um, for regular sewing because I'm using such a fine thread and trying to make quite small holes here. So they're sometimes a little fiddlier to get through the hole than the, uh, the heavier stiffer bristles. So the way the stitching is done is I place the awl on the surface of the leather, press downwards, and then come out along its edge, so within the thickness of the leather, and I go into the edge of the next piece of leather, and then back out again through its top surface. So I'm only working with so sort of half to two thirds the thickness of the leather, so about half uh, half a millimeter or so. It's always hard to do this when you're talking. dip the awl into some beeswax each time. I'm going to use it so that it's got a coating which will smooth the fibres in the leather out of the way and make it easier for the bristles to follow the hole. This part will be underneath the insole, so the slight offset there doesn't matter. It's the top end that you have to have, top line of the shoe that you have to have spot on. Within reason, the bottom is all right. Okay. So we go from the sewn side to the inside. This is the this is the side that will be against the foot in the heel. Thanks for watching.